Mom, what you say, BB? We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's the best. This the woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Hmm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pot. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, all check clear. the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fa- You never know when you'll need to recon an area.
That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Keep on keeping on. Don't mind me. Hello. Weapons restrictions lifted. <laughs> Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors.
have some chiral crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. These local... Good work, Seth. It seems your connection left... As your connection left... Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Seems like that bike's auto-charging unit is busted. If you want to take it for a spin, you'll need to use a generator to give it some juice. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Feel free to submit junk like that to Bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do.
There we go. Restrictions lifted. Sideways, be ready to fight.
drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. <clears throat> Seems all the mules in your vicinity have been incapacitated.
Goddamn cottonmouth. one's for you.
damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. We made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not him. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Restrictions lifted. Thanks for the help.
It's Adam. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Chiron printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the Chiron network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. <laughs> 